Good morning. Isn't it a great time to be out in your garden? The weather is uh, nice this morning. It's still cool and uh, it's the best time to get out. I always say I like to get out with the chickens and uh, get them up in the morning and uh, get out to the garden. Looking forward to in the next uh, couple of hours getting to head over to the beach with my girls. We're going to be doing a little Mother's Day celebration together, just the girls and me out at the beach. Uh, but this morning, the other thing I'm doing is uh, I put a little bit of fish emulsion down in my container gardens to make sure that I've got plenty of nitrogen in those pots. And then uh, I'm going ahead and putting in some black eyed peas. Uh, it's still cool enough to uh, go ahead and put these peas in. You actually can really probably plant black eyed peas throughout the summer. Um, but May is really, you know, the time that we're spending our time focused on that last bit of planting um, in our gardens. One of the things that you're going to see over the next few months with the summer, as the summer sets in, the grass, that bulky grass that you don't want in your garden is really going to be what starts to take off. So if you can fill the spaces up with some things like black eyed peas, then you won't have as much grass as a problem. Um, one of the things that's going to be really good about these black eyed peas is that they provide a good uh, productive measure for your garden. Uh, first of all, they can be eaten. Uh, you can eat them green. You can eat them, you can let them dry on the plant and you can eat them dry. And then you can also just uh, allow them to be nitrogen fixers in your soil. They put on little nodules. Those nodules, you want them to be pink, not black. You can actually pull a cowpea out of the ground and look at the root base. And if it's got the little, um, basically polyps along the root, uh, if they're pink, then there's been enough mycorrhizal fungi in your soil. There's been enough inoculant in your soil uh, to make sure that these can put that nitrogen fixation into your soil. Ways that you can make sure that there's enough inoculant in your soil. You can actually purchase inoculant and use that. Uh, you can get it at a lot of the nurseries. You can order it online, of course. Or uh, if you've got a lot of wood mulch, woody mulch in your soil, then uh, most likely you've got enough of that uh, mycorrhizal fungi or inoculant in your soil that will help those uh, black eyed peas do what they need to do. Another thing that these are good for and the reason they're called cow peas is they're actually really good for your animals. So if you're field planting, go ahead and plant an entire field of black eyed peas. Let your cows, your pigs, your chickens, whatever, eat it. All right, you have a great day. I will see you all very soon.